Here we have one of my favorite Iron Man figures. It's the classic Bowen Designs Iron Man. I think it was a Comic-Con exclusive. You know what we're gonna do.
get my support generation down to just a few key pieces to keep the face plates upright and minimize cleanup. Now here you can see my support generation was minimal and we had a few errors but it worked. Overall this turned out great. You can see here where I had it down facing on the top and that's not a problem. That'll sand out, bondo out uh, a couple errors on the side. I try to put Easter eggs in all my videos so if you pay attention to what's in the project you might see some other stuff. Fun little, fun little hints for future content. And now I'm going to put my Rust-Oleum Gold over top of that base of black. Uh, I didn't videotape that part, it doesn't matter. Uh, but that's really just to really bring out the shine of the gold. Uh, I do this for all my helmets, and sometimes I play around with the different combinations. So I think this wasn't even a black, this was a dark walnut brown. And I was really enjoying the way the gold was coming out over top of this, so I used it for a series of projects at this time. I try to keep even sweeping motions over the helmet from left to right so that the paint starts and ends not on the part. But I also tend to get a little heavy handed and that, that usually does not work out in my favor. Uh, I'm trying to get better about it. And this is how that gold turns out once it's finished. I love it, and this was actually with very minimal sanding to the faceplate. This part was a little trickier. Uh, I went ahead and did the red, but I still had a lot of work to do up top, but good enough for now. So as you can see, assembly went smooth. I ended up fixing the earmuff and the faceplate in permanently. I designed this so that it would fit over my head with no problem. Uh, Overall, easy print. Uh, less than 24 hours and then another 12 hours of paint. I'm gonna do some black accents in some of these crevices, uh, but that's about it. So, you already know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button, and stay tuned for more ridiculously nerdy builds. I should have some low key content coming up, as well as additional Iron Man helmets. I've also opened an Etsy shop where you can get a couple of these designs as well as a sketch pad where you can see them in real time before you make any decisions. Uh, drop a comment down below with what you would like to see me design next. Peace.